Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10, Mysterious Blocks. A woman named Tracy Williams was walking along the beach in Cornwall, England in 2012 when she spotted something strange in the sand. She inspected the mysterious object a bit closer and was shocked to see that she was staring at dark tablets that had been buried on the beach. Still, she wasn't an archaeologist, and so the woman left the blocks alone and kept on going. But a few weeks later, she came across another tablet on a different beach, and it was the exact same thing. As it turned out, she wasn't the only one who was finding these tablets or blocks. It's been going on for decades all across Europe. The phenomenon has been experienced by many people, and these blocks have come to be known as the Gipetir blocks. Williams was eager to get to the bottom of the mystery. She did some investigating and learned that the word Gipetir, which is written on all the blocks, was actually the name of a village in Indonesia. And in the 19th century, the village was home to a plantation. The plantation was responsible for making plates from the gum of the palicum tree. These plates were kind of rubbery latex material which could be used in the manufacturing of toys, surgical equipment, furniture, and underwater telegraph cables. It was an incredibly important substance, and it was shipped all over the globe. Our best guess is that the blocks came from a sunken ship. We know that in 1912, the Titanic had these Gipetir blocks in its cargo hold. And so, these blocks could be actual lost cargo from the Titanic, which sank over 100 years ago. Number 9. Venomous Serpent Matt Gamir has spent a lot of time at the beach. He's seen plenty of sharks, all kinds of stingrays, and all the weird beach behavior that you can expect to encounter in San Diego. But in April of 2022, Matt encountered a whole different kind of animal, and it almost killed him. Matt has lived in San Diego his whole life and is a major surfer. He and his buddies were at one of their favorite spots, South Torrey Pines Beach, when Matt was attacked by a vicious rattlesnake. What makes the whole thing kind of ironic is that Matt had just gotten out of the water because he spotted a shark nearby. He didn't want to get bit by a shark, so he paddled his way back to shore and walked up the beach. And that was when he was bit on his foot by a snake. According to what Matt told the news, it felt like someone had dropped a knife directly on the top of his foot. But here's the thing. Matt didn't just get bit once. He got chomped on five times by the rattlesnake. He might have been better off with the shark. Within seconds, he could feel the effects of the venom. Tingling in the lips and face, numbness and swelling, Matt had to be rushed to the nearest hospital and treated with vials of anti-venom. Matt survived, but it was an extremely close call. One bite from a rattlesnake is dangerous enough, never mind getting five rapid doses of venom. The snake was pretty small, and so it was probably only a juvenile diamondback of one and a half feet. If it had been a full-grown snake, Matt might be dead by now. Number 8. Giant Squid In spring of 2022, an extraordinarily rare sea monster was spotted washed up on a beach in South Africa. Beachcombers made the find of a lifetime when they came across a very real giant squid. This is a creature that lives in the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean and is so elusive only a handful of them have ever been seen by human eyes. The squid that washed up on Long Beach was about seven feet from the top of its head to the tips of its tentacles, making it a pretty small giant squid. Because as you may already know, these are some of the largest invertebrates in the world. Adult giant squids can grow to be 43 feet long, roughly five times the size of this one that washed up on the beach. So what made this rare discovery possible? It's kind of sad. Judging by the enormous gash on the squid just above its tentacles, it appears to have been hit by the propeller of a boat. It might not have recovered from its injury and ended up being pushed onto the beach with the rising tide. Number 7. Mysterious Ancient Arrowhead On a beach in Ireland, Dara Kenny uncovered a Neolithic artifact while digging in the sand. Dara is only seven years old and had no idea that his aimless digging would turn him into an amateur archaeologist. And yet that's exactly what happened. The young kid managed to pull out a flint arrowhead from the sand, an artifact dated at 5,000 years old. The boy was out in the countryside with his family for a weekend camping trip at Dunworley Beach in West Cork. Dara and his mom went down to the beach when the tide retreated. Dara wanted to find some shells, maybe a fossil or two, but he came across the artifact instead. Once the family got home, they emailed the National Museum of Ireland with pictures of their discovery. Museum officials confirmed that the arrowhead appeared to be from roughly 3000 BC to 2700 BC. That's even older than Stonehenge. 
Maeve Sikora, the museum, praised the little boy's discovery and even invited him back to the museum to see his arrowhead on display. As for where the ancient artifact came from, that's a bit more complicated. It was probably used by the Neolithic people of Ireland, but nobody knows for sure. It may have come from across the water in England, pushed onto the beach after being lost somewhere else. All we know for sure is that it was a very old hunting tool, used by primitive humans who almost definitely lived in a cave. Number 6. Lost Treasure Chest A woman in Norfolk, United Kingdom, found herself a treasure. I'm not talking about a beach treasure of seashells and sand dollars. Jenny Fitzgerald discovered a literal treasure chest on the beach that was filled with riches. It was a dream come true, a wealth of coins, gems, artifacts, and jewelry. And she found it because she had taken it upon herself to clean the trash off the beach. As if being a good citizen wasn't enough, Jenny went and earned herself a very real treasure. She was out with the North Norfolk Beach Cleans Group, sifting through the sand for garbage, when she thought she saw a piece of driftwood. Then she realized it was actually a wooden box. It was fairly small, only about 10 inches long. But when she opened it, the small treasure chest contained over 100 gold coins, a sack full of gems, an antique pocket watch, and a priceless signet ring. The coins are perhaps the most interesting part of the discovery. Some are Victorian, some date from the reign of King George III, and there are even some medieval growths. But most shocking of all is that some of the coins appear to be Roman, meaning the treasure has a history stretching back 2,000 years. Unfortunately for the accidental treasure hunter, she's not going to make any money off her discovery. The chest was handed over to the Norfolk County Council, and if they find it to be of historical value, then chances are all those coins and treasure will be stuffed into a museum, and Jenny won't make very much money. And now for number five. But first, I wanted to give a big shout out to Barbara Sorgdracker and Bill Shepard. Thanks so much for watching and supporting this channel. Be sure to subscribe for more videos about amazing discoveries. Number 5. Giant Millipedes On a beach in Howick, located in the north of England, a group of friends discovered something fascinating and also a little terrifying. They were on a geological road trip in January of 2018. The plan was to travel from England to Wales while looking at geological formations along the coastline and searching for potential fossils. Lo and behold, they ended up discovering the remains of a millipede-like beast that lived 326 million years ago. The fossils were found on the beach cliffs and would honestly be invisible to anyone who wasn't trained to look for this type of thing. People have been visiting this beach for years and nobody ever realized there were monsters imprinted on the rocks. Now for the monster itself, which was something nightmares are made out of. It was basically a centipede the size of an alligator. It lived 100 million years before dinosaurs did, back when this part of England was a hot jungle filled with gigantic insectoid creatures. They've since named it Arthropleura, and they say it was the biggest arthropod in the history of our planet. A truly Godzilla-sized monster. Number 4. Giant Skull The giant skull of what appeared to be some kind of cosmic monster from outer space was discovered on a beach in New Jersey. It happened on Memorial Day of 2021 with the police having to come and remove it because it was causing such a commotion. The skull clearly belonged to an animal of some kind, and yet it looked like an extraterrestrial bird thing with two oblong eye sockets and a long pointy beak. The Island Beach State Park in Berkeley posted the photographs of the unexpected skull, which they said washed ashore after a storm. And after a whole lot of debate and speculation, it was the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection that finally identified the skull. Much to everyone's disappointment, it didn't actually come from a monster. It was the skull of an ordinary mink whale. It wasn't a pterodactyl head, and it didn't come from outer space. The big mystery remaining is why only the skull was found and not the rest of the whale. Number 3. Ghost Tracks Railroad tracks from World War I were recently uncovered after a fierce coastal storm hit New Jersey. The storm shifted sand on the beach around, revealing a set of mysterious railroad tracks near Cape May. Nicknamed ghost tracks, they were actually used for sand mining and munitions testing. They had been revealed previously in 2014, the first time anyone saw them in 80 years, but they quickly vanished back under the sand. Now, with this latest storm, it looks like the tracks are here to stay a little longer. The Cape May Sand Company used this specific track from between 1905 and 1936. Trains used the track to take sand from the beach, bring it to their factory, 
and transform that natural sand into glass and cement. Some of the cement, according to local historian Ben Miller, was even used to build the Panama Canal, thousands of miles away in Central America. Number 2. Prehistoric Fish On Revere Beach, Massachusetts, a prehistoric-looking fish was spotted by local resident Eric Hay. The animal was about 5 feet long, completely out of the water and beached on the sand. It also had a rope tied around its tail. According to what Eric told the Boston Globe, the creature looked exactly like a dinosaur. Not knowing what in the world he was dealing with, Eric posted a photo of the mystery monster online. Before long, two main guesses came forward. The fish was either a short-nosed sturgeon or an Atlantic sturgeon. Whatever the case, both of these fish are endangered species. They are so rare that any sighting should be reported to the Massachusetts Natural Heritage and Endangered Species Program. To make this story even more tragic, the poor fish was still alive and breathing when Eric found it. And, rather than taking selfies with it, he did the right thing and tried to get it back into the water. Sadly, it was already out of steam and just ended up being pushed back onto the sand. Number 1. What do you do with a dead whale? In 2012, a giant humpback whale washed up at Newport Beach in Sydney, Australia. The whale had likely been on its way to warmer waters when it died, then drifted along the current to the beach. It hit the sand, got stuck, and then, unfortunately for anyone close enough to smell it, started to rot. It was 35 feet from the tip of its tail to the end of its snout, roughly the same length as a London bus. Once the whale was on the beach, it immediately began to stink. In fact, there aren't really any words to describe the putrid, rotting whale carcass smell decaying on the sand. Wildlife authorities were called in to remove the creature. You might think being a wildlife worker is all tiger cubs and baby pandas, but that's not the case at all. These wildlife workers had to cut the humpback whale into five pieces and then lift them off the beach using heavy machinery. They had 20 tons of raw whale to get rid of, and the best tool they had at their disposal was a chainsaw. But the gory details aside, it was quite the tragedy for the whale. Experts believe the whale was a juvenile, and it had probably gotten sick and died about three days before it washed up on the beach. They don't know exactly what killed it, but believe it was some sort of whale sickness. Thanks for watching! What's the craziest thing you've ever found at the beach? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe if you haven't already! See you later! Bye!